What's going on, faithful followers? Right in front of us, we have the Hot Toy Stan Lee Barber from Sakaar Planet from Thor Ragnarok. You recall him when he was dressed up as the barber about to cut Thor's hair. So, without further ado, let's dig right in. <music> Sun City Collectibles where I get all my local toys. And make sure to go check out this new awesome podcast from Ashes Comic Dash, available on different platforms like Spotify. This podcast is featured for us comic geeks with interviews and topics across the board of all comics. Go check her out. Just want to give a quick shout out to Dan at Doc's Unique Collectibles, the one stop dream shop that's allowing us to display and showcase the Stan Lee Hot Toys Barber Sakar Planet. Thanks again. And definitely go ahead and look him up and check out his shop. Let's go ahead and look at this packaging. It's very different from other Hot Toys that I've encountered. You see right here, you have the box and you actually have the Hot Toy outside of the box in this plastic um, coat around it, the shell. So let's go ahead and spin it around so you can take a quick look at it before we actually dive right in. See right here, this is beautifully packaged. I'm really digging this right here. It's different, it caught me by surprise when I first saw it. I mean, it's really nice and it's a great tribute to the late Stanley. Here's the back where it gives you the description. Let's go ahead and open him up. Cool thing is they put it here in this plastic. If you notice um, the shell right here, where it's got those little pieces where you can actually just pop them versus trying to, you know, you got to cut into this, which is pretty cool because if you just want to put them right back in, then there you go. But yeah, you can pull it right there. I'm gonna lift this right quick for you. Take this apart right quick. Here's the box right here that it comes in. Looks pretty cool. Thor Ragnarok, Stan Lee, the Barber, Sakar Planet. See the same thing here again. And then basically what we told you, one six scale as well. The back of it right here gets the cast and crew. Hot Toys Presents Movie Masterpiece Series. And then there goes the other side right there. I mean, I, I just love the way that looks, man. Um, you know, for the late Stan Lee icon, for anyone that uh, knows anything about comics, right? I mean, that is the man, that is the godfather right there. So let's see if we open this box up a little bit so we can take a better look inside of it just in case. And then the box, the empty box, where you would actually put Stanley in just like that. And then you would just close off. Pretty nice, I like it. So let's go ahead and open the man up. Here we have Stan, take the nice little plastic off of him to shield him to make sure there's additional damages through shipping. Any scratches, anything, man. Look at that, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Here you can see right the long hair, which I'm assuming that stores here, right? <laughs> Let's go ahead and take the slip off right there as well. Let's put 
Let's stand to the side right there. Okay, this is nice. This is really nice. The likeness is really good. So let's get a closer look at this, at the base and everything. Let's out. Like I already showed you, the hair piece right there. Let's move this top layer off. And then you have the actual base that you stick this right here. And then this goes on the crotch area, these little prongs. I actually like the ones that actually grab around the waist, but this is fine. And then multiple hands. So you can change it out right here. That's pretty cool. And then you can see right here, the glasses and another uh, blade right there for him to uh, switch out. That's pretty crazy. And you see the packaging right there, the instructions as well. All right, so let's go ahead and put them together. Let's get a better look at Stan real quick while we're at it. Look at that. That's beautiful right there. The likeness of him is just excellent. The attention to detail that Hot Toys does with these. I mean, it's unbelievable. The sculptors that do these things. I wish I had that much talent. Then you see the outfit that he wore in Sakaar. Better look at these blades right here. His hand, feet with the boots. To bend everything pretty well. The back piece right here as well. I mean, this is just a beautiful piece. It is a beautiful piece. I really like it. You can hear it right there, can you hear that? All right. So a lot of times it says read the instructions and uh, like most males, at least for me, we're like, ah, we don't need no stinking instructions, right? And then you learn later like, oh, maybe I should have looked at the instructions. Let's see what these instructions are telling us right here. So like I said, again, instructions in there says Stanley the Barber, Secure Planet, Sakara Planet, excuse me. I love this movie. This was definitely the best iteration of Thor. I'm glad that they took another crack at Thor, man, because I thought they were just gonna fail it and put it on the back burner. I love the actor, um, Hemsworth. Uh, I think he's a perfect Thor. Um, I would have hated for them to waste that talent. All right, so let's see what the instruction manual is telling us to do first off. It doesn't seem too hard. It seems like a really simple put together, at least in my opinion it does. I can be wrong. Okay, so caution. Let's see what it says. Outfit is not detachable. Don't try to take it off, otherwise it may get damaged. Okay, good to go. Wearing glasses. I guess there's these spots right there that you gotta put them in. Put the glasses onto the head scope gently as shown. Okay, we got that. So removing these trimming device can be attached uh, to figure, I mean, to figure's arm. Two styles of blades are interchangeable. Regular hands can be attached as shown. Okay, cool. And we got is there, there's, I mean, three styles of hands can be interchangeable as shown. Okay. In the indicated blade joints allow 360 rotation. Oh, that's cool. Do not try to rotate the joints without articulation function. Otherwise, the accessories will be damaged. Handle the blades with extra care. Otherwise, they will get damaged. Okay, cool. Do not put pressure or try to remove indicated parts. Otherwise, it will be damaged. Okay, cool. Right on. Thank you. Appreciate you. Like I said, this is nowhere as hard as putting the war machine die cast ones that I've done where you got to put batteries and all this other stuff. All right, so here's the base, which is really nice. It's got those crazy colors from the movie, um, the, you know, um, Jack Kirby style, right? 
Thor Ragnarok. Bottom right here, because it's a licensed product, obviously, from Marvel. And uh, Hot Toys Limited, which is cool, really cool. All right, let's put that to the side right quick. And then here's that piece that I told you that you're gonna stick in the cross area for him to stand. Right here, it's got like a spring action, spring loaded kind of, kind of like a hanger, you know what I mean? Um, and then you put it underneath the cross right there for it to stand properly. Um, the other ones have those claws that actually go around the waist. I'm not really a fan of these just yet, but maybe it's because maybe I'm not using it right, maybe, who knows. All right, so we got the sunglasses right here, right? Or the glasses, excuse me, the protective wear. So let's see what they're talking about here right quick. Okay, they said there's some something on the side. Let's do this. Okay, I see. see you right. see right there, there's like a little hole right there. Let's go ahead and slide that in real quick. So it's on point where it's supposed to be. Okay, I guess that's it right there. Stand the man, Lee. I mean, wow, right? And then this, look at that. That actually rotates, how cool is that? How cool is that? Everything rotates there joints move around pretty good i mean especially when you want to pose it in a certain way let's see how let's see the waist as far you can bend it's as far as it bends right there and forward let's see okay that's all you need really then the boots, let's take a better, closer look at the boots. Right here, no articulation at the at the ankles, but that's cool. But you can move the boot all around right there. Everything bends, the waist and the hips. Functionality is really good on that as well. So however you wanna pose him. All right, let's put stand down right quick. Let's look at these hands. All right, so we got the multiple hands here. Let's take this out right quick so you can see what this is. And these are the connectors right here, if you see, are you gonna pop them in right here in case you got an interchange in the wrist for, I believe, for this part of the arm right there as well. Here, you can just take this off, pop this off right here. You notice it's got the ball joint right there on the wrist. So we'll put this to the side. Put one of these rock ons on. Actually, when you think about it, now that I rethink about it, right? It's like Spider-Man, right? Because you know how Stanley always made, right? Did that like in his posing and his pictures and stuff. It's kind of cool. Now to think about it, I wouldn't expect him to put those in this um, iteration of him, considering this is movie based. Here we'll, we'll go ahead and. Off right there as well. Pop this other one up. And here we go. Now you have him with both hands doing his gesture, right? Here you have stand with his wrist out, with his hands in the Spider Man pose, or at least with the fingers. Um, with the base right there, as you can see, which is pretty cool. The Ragnarok Barber Stan Lee plate right there, it says. Um, I told you about these little things right here. You connect the stand right there, the stand piece right here the to the base. 
and this you just adjust however height you want it and it sits right underneath the crotch area for this one it works fine because these don't weigh as much but when you have the die cast ones they're a little bit um lucid, i guess but it looks pretty cool and you can just pose them any way you want for one of these like i said um which is cool because you can see right here they actually turn you can see they turn around and everything on there just want to put one there on his wrist you can as well i thought this looked pretty cool right here with his finger pointing at you and uh an actual mini claw on, on the actual left arm as well i think it looks pretty cool like i said this is life 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 man um hot toys always knocks it out the park with his uh very close to the original of what people actually look like in the movies you know on likeness there you go the word i'm trying to look for it looks very good um they outdo themselves all the time when they make this that's why they cost what they cost you know and any collector that owns these they they love them you know they they're just really nicely done and they look great in your display as well and there you have stan lee with some mini relics in his hand representing the culture what he created and uh it's just a beautiful hot toy right here i recommend it to anyone that's a stanley fan a Thor ragnarok fan a hot toy fan a comic fan period um his likeness is awesome it looks very good they have different iterations of stanley and regular clothing as well so you can check those out as well um the packaging is awesome for a collector's item whether you want to display it or you just want to put it in the case whatever the case may be but it is a beautiful item it's definitely something to get and get them while you can now before they get it sold out and then you have to pay um street costs you know um versus what is actually um priced at right now currently well there you have it faithful believers stan lee the man from thor ragnarok as the barber he's awesome hot toy if you're interested, go get them at one of your local shops. If you're in El Paso, go with the Docs, Unique's Collectibles. They have them in stock, I believe, and also online. And if you haven't subscribed, do so now and hit the notification button so you can be notified on all favorable content that's about to hit. Thanks. Until next time, stay faithful. On the road to 200 subscribers, ensure that you subscribe, comment, and like. A random comment will be picked on a random video for this awesome number one second print to the last Ronin highly anticipated. So go ahead and do so so you can win.